Hi, I'm Anna Greco. Um, welcome to Adeli Tree. I wanted to share some encouragement with you, uh, hopefully some tools that can help us all on our journey through this time of um, exposed racism again in our country uh, and how to process it for ourselves. Because I think more importantly now more than ever, we need to be very quick not to judge and quick to see ourselves in our own hearts and kind of where we've fallen short. And I certainly don't want to fall short of what God wants for me and for this world. So in Psalms 139, 22 through 24, David is, is praying to God and he says, search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting. Um, so again, we see David, who's crying out to God, I don't want to be offensive. I don't want to be offensive to you. Please help me to see what I need to see. Search me. And so we need to ask God to truly search us and, and not only search us, but we need to do so honestly, like really honestly. Go deep in our hearts, Lord. Help us to see what it is that we're not seeing. Um, in Romans 12, 3, it says, don't think of yourself better as better than you really are be honest in your evaluation of yourselves measuring yourselves by the faith that god has given us and in luke 6 41 this is pretty rough it says how can you think of saying to your friends let me help you get rid of that speck in your eye when you can't see the log in your own eye it's just i mean that's like a I'm sorry. Oops, I shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have gone there. But it's it's so true. Like, how quick are we to judge? How quick am I to judge others? Their feelings, their uh, what's brought them to this point, and 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 their pain in this in this journey that I don't understand. But I want to be able to understand, and I can't understand if I have a big log in my own eye that's blocking me from the reality. So let's be honest with ourselves. Let's be honest before God. Um, and then finally, in James 2.14, it says, do, uh, basically it's saying to do something about it. So once you've searched yourself and God's revealed some things to you, uh, maybe that is wrong. Uh, maybe maybe you didn't even, weren't aware of, it wasn't on purpose, but you're like, wow, I, I shouldn't be thinking this way. It says in James 2.14, what good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but don't show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing, and you say goodbye and have a good day, stay warm and eat well, but that, then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? So just a challenge today. I know it may feel harsh a little bit, but I think that we all at this time really need to be honest with ourselves. We need to examine ourselves before God through through scripture, what the word of God says. And we know the person of Jesus was loving and kind and he loved everyone. And if we need to leave love everyone, it may mean that we've got to examine ourselves, get rid of the plank in our own eye and move forward in obedience to, to make a difference. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.